actually exists you can then sign against it and you have every reason to celebrate have you been just hired in the united arab emirates have you just gotten hired have you just gotten a job in the uae this video is specifically for you before you get excited about your new job offer before you sign your job offer letter or your employment contract in the united arab emirates it is important that you ascertain the authenticity of this employment contract it is important that you check the validity and the authenticity of this employment contract before you sign it. This video is specifically for people who have just gotten jobs in the UAE. A company has just given you a job. You have just passed the interview. This video is very important and you need to watch it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shafiq. I urge you to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And at this channel, we talk about expert affairs, all the information that you need to know for those who are working and are seeking employment in the UAE. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can check the authenticity of your job offer letter, how you can check to make sure that that job offer letter you are going to sign is really genuine and really authentic. Many fake agents take this opportunity, take this um, lack of knowledge by some people and offer them fake jobs. But in this video, I'll be showing you how you can ascertain the authenticity of that job offer later before you get excited. Before you get excited, it is important that you check and make sure that document you are going to sign before you give out your money to that agent you need to make sure the job is really true. It is important to note that an offer letter is different from a ministry offer letter. If you got a job from a company, probably you passed an interview, they will issue you what is called an offer letter that is from the company. Now, this is not very important. It only shows you that you have gotten a job from the company it only shows you that you passed the interview but the real and true offer letter comes from the ministry of labor which is known as the ministry of human resources and emiratization of uae this is what gives authentic this is what gives permission to you to be employed in the uae and it is what offers you an an a, a work permit when you pass a job interview, the company gives you an offer letter. The company will then apply for a work permit in the Ministry of Labor or the Ministry of Human Resource and Emiratization of UAE. It is then the work of the ministry to scrutinize and make sure you do not have any labor bans because many people have labor bans. I will also put a link on how you can check whether you have a labor ban. Labor bans usually come in a situation where people exit UAE with absconding cases or other criminal cases. If you happen to exit UAE with uh, absconding cases and your employer files a case against you, many cases, the ministry will file a labor ban on you. In such a case, it cannot issue you with a work permit for two years. So when you get a job or you pass an interview, the company now has to get authentic, has to get permission from the Ministry of Labor to process for you a work visa, Emirates ID, and a work permit. Until you have gotten this ministry offer letter, you cannot be very sure and there is no need for you to exaggerate and to be excited. The only excitement should be after you have checked your ministry offer letter and also made sure that this letter is authentic and then you can pay your money to the agent who is offering you to the job or you can be excited about the news. In this video, I'll be showing you practically how you can check the authenticity and the genuity to make sure that this offer letter, ministry offer letter you are about to sign is actually true. You can do this online and on your phone and let's get started. Once you have passed a job interview and a company has given you an offer letter, 
the company will now apply to the Ministry of Labor to issue you with what is called an a work permit. The Ministry of Labor will then, after scrutinizing the application, if it finds that you qualify for a work permit, it will then issue you with what is called a Ministry Offer Letter. A company job offer letter is different from the Ministry Offer Letter. There is no possible way of finding out whether the company offer letter is genuine, but we may watch out for some features. There are certain features that a company offer letter must possess. For example, it has to show the company name, it has to show your job position, it has to show the amount of money you will be working for, and also a few terms and conditions of your employment. But unlike the Ministry of a Letter, that will be almost a five-page uh, document, the Ministry of a Letter will include a number of details. For example, it will show you the company location, it will show you the owner of the company, it will show you all the terms and conditions for your employment, and it will also be your contract. The ministry may also deny an individual a work permit for many reasons. It may deny an individual a work permit and in that case it will not offer you with a ministry offer later. All individuals that, are, that have gotten work in companies which subscribe to the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritization, after getting a work permit for their employee, they will then go on to process a working visa, Emirates ID for that individual. In this part of the video, I will be showing you how you can check and make sure that your ministry offer letter is actually genuine and authentic. Many fake agents that promise fake jobs will give you a paper for you to sign, a document for you to sign. If you do not know and you have not checked that the, the letter they are giving you to sign is authentic, you will be duped with your money, you will be ruined and then you will lose your money to those fake agents. In this part of the video, I will be showing you how you can check your ministry of a letter. A typical ministry of a letter will look like that and also a typical of a letter from a company. It will also include a few features, for example, the company stamp. It will include the company header with the company name. It will include your position or the job that you have been offered and a few terms and conditions under your employment. Now, you can check the Ministry of a Letter to ascertain its authenticity by visiting your web browser. For those people who use Google, I'll show you from Google. From Google, you will go then and type in M-O-H-R-E which is the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritization of UAE.gov.ae. When you type in this, it will take you to the Ministry of Labor website. This is the Ministry of Web, the Ministry of Labor website. It is the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritization under the Services portal. You will then come to the main menu to the top right corner where there are these three bars you will click there and then you will scroll down when you scroll down you will go to view approved contract as you can see view approved contract the ministry of a letter is also your employment contract and it will include all the conditions terms and conditions under which your employment with that company will be governed at the select service section this is for companies for those companies that want to give you a job offer the companies that want to renew work permit and all that this section is for companies now for you you will come under view my contract the contract is also the ministry of a letter the Ministry of a Letter will also have a transaction number. Usually these numbers start with ST and end with AE and also start sometimes with MB and end with AE. So if you have already been given the Ministry of a Letter 
and the agent is asking you to sign against it then you will come here under transaction number you can choose to search by transaction number if you already have the document in paper or you can search by personal details if you do not have the document in paper in this case we will search by transaction number since we are assuming that you have already gotten your ministry offer later under the transaction number you will look out for that number that start with st o m b st for example i will use these numbers which are mine for my contract 860 you can type in yours if you already have the employment contract then you can go under passport number you write your passport number then you will fill in the capture the capture is these digits to make sure you are not an alien 37H YA then when you fill in this capture correctly then you can go to view approved contract sorry you have to check double check the numbers and make sure they are correct in some cases you will need to fill in this capture okay once you have filled in these details you have filled in the details very well you will be able to view your employment contract you will have all the details there and in the right top right corner you can download a copy of the contract then then you can be sure an employment contract will uh, be about five pages the ministry offer letter is about is a five pages document if you check and make and you have ascertained that the contract actually exists you can then sign against it and you have every reason to celebrate and get excited otherwise before you make before you check and ascertain that the contract is true you cannot be excited and you have no reason to be happy many of the agents use this as an advantage to steal people's money you can also check for quite other details and uh, the ministry of human and human resources and emeritization mobile application i will leave a link to this one in the description you can kindly check it out there are quite a number of services that you can get from the ministry of human resource and emeritization website as you can see there are a number of sections the employer section the employee section the domestic worker section and then all the services section that is how your employment ministry of a letter is genuine and authentic thank you for watching see you